We are about to watch a video of a traffic stop where an officer pulls an individual over, orders him out of the car, and he refuses to get out of the car. There's a couple of funny transactions that occur in this short couple minute video. As you watch this video, I want you to look for a clue, and I want you to let me know in the comments if you found the clue um, as to why this guy may have been drinking and driving, and then you have a better perspective on why the officer does what he does. Thank you for tuning in to Attorney Audits Agitators. Before we watch this video, raise your cup, your glass in the air. It tastes better when we sip together. Cheers. All right, let's watch the vid. Go three to my location. So I was pulled over for speeding, and you're threatening to pepper spray me? I'm sorry? You are you pulled me over for speeding, and now you're threatening to pepper spray me because I'm not cooperating? You can write me a speeding ticket, and then you can go on your way, but you're threatening to drag me out of my car and pepper spray me. Now, I need you want to, to elaborate? You to your car uh -huh. for, for my safety. Why is that? Because I don't know what's going on with you, okay? No. So You pulled me over for speeding. All right. Ready? Are you ready? Okay. What's your name? Deputy Stowers. Stowers, perfect. Yeah. You're going to be popular for this, man. Going allegedly 60 in the 55, and you're going to pepper spray me because it's you're 45, afraid so. for your life? I, I don't, I don't, you're, you're not acting normal. Most people no, I'm frustrated because stuff. you were just tailgating me to pull me over. I was going 50 miles an hour. I, you, you were going 60 to catch up with me. I was going 50, which isn't even illegal. Okay. okay. And now you're Put pulling your, your pepper spray out. Put your phone down, bro. No, 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 no. Get, dude, get off me, man. Right. You have. Oh man, it's out. You're so lucky. Dude, that's the universe trying to protect both you of us. You are so lucky. No, you. how are you acting like this? We're supposed to be on the same side, man. Listen, I don't know you, but I'm telling you that you are going to go to jail right now because you're not cooperating with law enforcement. You are resisting my orders, so you're going to jail. As soon as my units come, come you're here, you're pulling me over you for the going car. over the speed limit by, what, five miles per hour? Okay. And you have a taser out. Okay. That's fine. You're going to jail now. You you turn this into a huge... No! Venue. Okay. Right, how is this how is this even grounds keep for a taser being out? Wheel. Keep your hands on the steering wheel. Are you not gonna keep your hands Why on the Why are you wheel? acting like this? Okay. That's fine, dude. Going sixty and a fifty and you have a taser out. Mm hmm You're not cooperating. You're not cooperating. Are you write me a speeding ticket and leave me alone? That's not how it works, sir. You're escalating the situation you remove yourself. Anyone out of a vehicle on a traffic stop. By law. You, do you have law. suspicion to pull me court. out of my car? Is there any reason to take me yeah, out of my vehicle? Because you are acting uncooperative, and I don't know why. If you're on any <laughs> uncooperative. Like or what? So, it's fine. Yeah, I haven't had a drink in like a year, man. Okay. It's fine. Jesus, dude. Why did you sign up to be a police officer if you're going to harass people? Okay. Hey, you got pepper spray? Huh? You got pepper spray? Mine's empty. Pepper spray? Oh, yeah. All right, bro. You're coming out of the car right now. Set, Can you explain to this guy what's happening? Set your phone down. Hey, set your phone down. Get out of the car. I suggest that you get out of the car. All right. I was going, what, okay. 50 miles per hour, hey, and you guys off. are dragging me out of my I'll car. I'll if you want to. All right. Sorry, just didn't right now. Oh, okay. Hey, put your phone down. Put your phone down. You're coming out of the car. You're coming out of the car. So I got units. Does he even right tell here. you why he's pulling me over? Listen, dude, do you care? That's bad here is to get out of the car. Do you care okay. about why I'm being pulled right over? Now, my partner's ordering you to get out of the Jesus, car. So dude. All right, dude, you're 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 gonna go to jail for sure now. Okay, put the phone down. You're coming out of the car. Where's Sarge at? Why are you pulling me out of my car? Huh? Why are you I can pulling me out? Anyone on a traffic stop that I want to. Okay. So do me a favor. Put the phone down and come on out of the car. You're, you're going to turn this into going to jail, dude. I can illegally take anyone out of their car. Are you guys all just allowing this guy to act like a maniac? Yeah. Okay, so before I tell you what the clue was, did you spot the clue as to why I believed this individual in the car was drinking and driving? I bet you did. I bet most of you did. I bet some of you didn't. Depends how closely you watch. Yes, he was chewing gum. He was chewing gum. 
Who chews gum in the car? Well, some people, they just chew gum all the time or they chew gum in the car. And then some people keep sticks of gum on them in case they were drinking and driving. And if they get pulled over, they don't want an officer to smell the alcohol on their breath. Good luck with that. So this guy was drinking and driving. One of the things the officer said early in the transaction is, I don't know what's going on with you. Probably because this guy was combative right off the bat. Plus, he's chewing gum. That's a fact that the officer might cite when telling uh, the, the court in his complaint why he pulled this guy over, why he wanted him to get out of the car, probably wanted to get him, get him out of the car so that he could run field sobriety tests and see if this guy was drunk or sober. At one point in the uh, incident, the guy says, I haven't had a drink in over a year. All of this is just confusing, scared signals that, yeah, this dude was probably drinking and driving. Of course, I don't know. I could be wrong. Now, he also complains that the officer was tailgating him. He was only going five miles per hour over. Um, even if you're going five miles per hour over, technically, that's illegal. Now, most officers don't pull people over for just five miles per hour over the speed limit, but it is a violation of the law. So if the officer or wants to investigate at that point and pull you over, that is almost certainly going to be legal. So he pulls this guy over for speeding, begins to conduct a traffic stop, um, sees him behaving strangely. I don't know if he smelled the odor of alcohol, but he's chewing gum, being combative. All of those are reasons for him to get the officer out of the car. Um, one of the funnier parts about this transaction is he, he, he threatens to pepper spray him and then he act, the officer actually goes to pepper spray him and he's out of pepper spray, but low and, and then and then the, the guy in the, the car says, this is the universe telling us this is wrong. <laughs> I thought that that was funny, all right? Uh, but lo and behold, the, the sheriff's deputy's partner uh, pulls up and he's got a fully loaded pepper spray. And so, it, it, and in the meantime, the officer pulled out the taser. So pepper spray or taser, another one to answer in the comments, which one is worse? I don't know. Personally, I've never been tased or pepper sprayed. Personally, I would probably prefer to be tased because it seems like it's short and then it's over with. Whereas if you get pepper sprayed, you're going to feel that all day. I mean, you're going to feel that all day, maybe in the next day, a couple of days after tase, at least it's over quickly. Um, woo, kind of funny, uh, kind of hilarious in that part. Now, let's talk about the law here. Can an officer just order someone out of a vehicle during a traffic stop? Yes, the officers need probable cause or reasonable suspicion to pull you over. But once they have pulled you over and they're going to ask questions or conduct an investigation, they generally can order someone out of the vehicle. Uh, interestingly enough, I did a little bit of research. This, this, The case law that establishes this right comes out of Pennsylvania, and I believe it's Commonwealth of Pennsylvania versus MIMS. In that case, uh, the police had pulled someone over, ordered the individual out of the vehicle. The individual had a gun on them. The court in Pennsylvania actually found that the stop and search was unconstitutional, but the Supreme Court of the United States, SCOTUS, overturned the court in Pennsylvania and said that the, what the officers did was constitutional. And the reasons for it were as follows. They said the police during a traffic stop can order someone out of the vehicle for officer safety because it's easier for the police to see what someone is doing and handle that individual when they're outside of the vehicle instead of when they are sitting in the car seat. It's harder to see, etc., etc. So if the police order you out during a traffic stop, they are going to be able to do that. That is legal. Um, again, officer safety. One of the other issues is during a traffic stop, an officer may have to stand in the roadway while cars are passing by, depending on where the individual pulled over. That is also a dangerous situation for the officer. Therefore, if the cars are on the side of the road, again, this is an additional reason. The officer can order someone out of the vehicle and bring them around to an area that's safe for both people, and then he can ask questions and conduct his investigation. Interesting would to be, would uh, that argument goes away, though, if somebody was pulled over, say, in a parking lot. 
However, they still have the argument that the individual for, for general officer safety, that that person needs to get out of the vehicle. Now, when the police give that order and a person resists it, okay, that could escalate the situation for the individual. They may then be uh, refusing an officer order, resisting arrest, disorderly conduct. Um, there are different criminal charges they could get for then refusing the officer's order. So uh, don't be difficult in that situation. My advice as an attorney is if they order you out of the vehicle, get out of the vehicle, but you don't have to talk to them about anything. Now, if it's a stop in ID state, you may want to give them your name. My general advice is if an officer pulls you over, you don't want to go into the details of what they're asking. You can politely say, my name is so-and-so, show your ID and your driver's license, and then comply with any other order, but you don't have to talk to them beyond that. You don't have to answer questions for them beyond that. That's it. Just be quiet. Just say, officer, my name is, uh, my case, uh, officer, my name is Joe Palmetto. Here's my driver's license. This is my date of birth. I respectfully decline to answer any other questions, but I will obey any of your lawful orders. So if the officer orders you out of the vehicle, go ahead, get out of the vehicle. Um, but you don't have to give consent to, to search the vehicle, etc. I say you don't do that. This guy, he's lucky he didn't get pepper sprayed. He's lucky he didn't get tased. We didn't get to see the end of it. If you want to look up the case law, it's Pennsylvania versus Mims. It is constitutional. I hope this guy avoided the taser and the pepper spray. Thank you for watching Attorney Audits Agitators. My book on sovereign citizens is coming out soon, very soon, literally days away. I'm excited. I hope you all are excited. I will have a special video on it. We'll do special announcements. It's coming your way. Thank you. Have a nice day.